Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's tutorial, we are going to configure our OpenWRT router at a switch. From this network topology, we have two routers. The first one is the TB-Link TLWRA41N and the second router is the D-Link DIRA42C2. And the first router having an IP address of 192.168.9.1 and the secondary router having a LAN IP address of 192.168.1.1 And basically, the solution is very simple. We just need to assign an IP address to the DIRA42 which is in the same subnet with the, the first router which is the WRA41N and after that, we are going to turn off the DHCP on our second router. Let's take a look at this network information. In this subnet 192.168.9.1/24, we have the IP address available from 192.168. A. Let me just put a note here. We have the available address from 192.168.9.2. One nine two dot one six eight dot nine dot two five four. One nine two dot one six eight dot nine dot one is the gateway IP, and one nine two dot one six eight dot nine dot two five five is the broadcast IP address. So we cannot use this, and this is the available range. Okay, so this is the available range that we can give to this router, but we just need one IP address, and. In my case, I will pick this IP address 192.168.9.5 because let me just show you. So this is our WRA41N router and let's go to the network interfaces uh, LAN and we can see that the DHCP server is assigning the IP address from 100 to 150. By picking up 192.168.9.5 I will avoid any confliction in the IP address It's time to log into the router and change the LAN IP address as well as turn off the DHCP but before that we need to disconnect our computer from the WRA41N router which is currently having the IP address of 192.168.9.1 Right now, only the DIRA42 is connected to our computer. And let's go to Interfaces, LAN, click Edit, and then change the IP address from 192.168.9.5. Okay. And on the DHCP server, we, can, we can just leave it on for now. Okay, click save and then save and apply. Okay, so it will take some time and let us just go here and disable the interface and then enable it again. And we're expecting that the IP address should be changed. So we have see that the IP address had been changed to 192.168.9.1 which is a good signal and then we need to access to the router with a new IP address so 192.168.9.5 and then log into it All right, so let's go to our interfaces and then LAN. We can see that the IP address has been changed to 192.168.9.5 and let's just follow our second step, which is turn off the DHCP server. All right, let's just check the procedure we have here. Okay, so set up an IP address to this router, we done, and now let's turn off the DHCP server. Okay, 
so this is our LAN interfaces and then go to DHCP server and then click ignore this interface click save and then click save and apply very good so we have just assigned an IP address to the DIR A42 router and then we have turned up the DHCP server on it now it is time to connect the two router to each other and make sure that the DIR A42 LAN port is connected to the WRA41N LAN port all right so let's just do it let me just check again 192.168.9.1 This is our primary router and this is our secondary router which is now acting at a switch and in order to verify that we will turn off the network interfaces and then turn it on and see if the IP address is assigning by the first router or the secondary router. All right, so we have an IP address of 192.168.9.111 and then our gateway is 192.168.9.1 which is the first router, the WRA41. So we see that all the routine and all the DHCP requests have been sent to our WRA41N router. So the DIRA42 is only working at a switch. And that's all about today's tutorial. If you have any questions or any idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will try to assist. And as always, if you see the video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. Thank you and see you again.